Hi, this is Kelly. You're watching episode 45 of JLC TV. This channel follows an established business on its way to making a hundred million pounds. From delivery to warehouse and sales you won't believe, you'll see it all here at JLC TV. So back here, Shiz is obviously here as well. Brother Shiz, what's up? Right, so I've just sent, grab a seat, Sure. I just sent a message, obviously we've got Big day today, that time of the month, people who watch it know we got payroll. Payroll is obviously a big part of one of the very like jobs I still keep that needs a lot of concentration, you know, because like I said before, if you muck it up, staff think it's personal when it wasn't a mistake, so we aim to never make mistakes. So the thing I want to talk about, right? This is pretty mad. I just spoke to David about it, is the way it works. One of the biggest problems with us having this business out here, we are now, I think, around 550,000 we've spent out here getting this off the ground in Europe. Now, good for us, we're gonna make some profit this month. We made a little profit in February, March, it just washed its face. So neither here nor there, start to make a little bit of money, maybe it doesn't lose, it's good. The crazy part about all of this is in that 550,000, because it's an overseas investment, which I guess can be looked at from like UK, we have no tax exemption on it. All of that 550, we paid full tax up on it. And even last month, like I can't get into the intricacies of what we paid, but our amount of tax we're paying on our UK profit is astronomical because we're having to cover, whereas if you had this a UK business, let's say you'd start up a business with 100 grand and you invested 50 grand into another UK business, you can offset that and that is offset against the tax. We can't offset it here. So what's happened? It's like we just dumped a load of profit out here. So it really puts pressure on how important it is to make this work. So in a typical sense, if we had to put half a million quid into a business that went bust, we would offset the tax and then, oh, happy, doesn't matter. We don't owe, uh, in fact, it was more like half of the cost because of the offset on tax. With this, that's not the case. With this, if it goes wrong, it costs us a true 550, which is <gasps> crazy. It was just humbling me right a second ago because I was going through our March accounts. The point of what I'm saying is we had a very good month last month, but you're like, whoa, okay, we had a good month, but pretty much we didn't do much because all of the money is going to tax. Crazy. So yeah, a lot to think about. So anyway, now I'm gonna have a meeting with David next week to see if there's, if there's anything we can do, you know? But, it's one of those things. The main thing is this, that we are working in profit now. And as the profit comes back, sorry, I didn't prefix this whole thing with you don't get tax credits. So you don't get tax credits out here on a new business. So it's not like you were losing money and you're getting credits, but we have five years to earn the money back. So essentially we've been out here for two years already lost 550. We now have three years to start digging ourselves out of the hole. Otherwise that money falls out of the tax and then we can't claim it back. That's famous last words, right? Because we can turn things around very fast and we're already at a place where we make some money. It's just food for thought. It's food for thought because I think people don't consider it this kind of <laughs> And that's crazy. Like a lot of business and investments is structured on how and where you can offset tax because people don't want to throw good money. It's yeah. overseas, <laughs> very complicated. Yeah, Beeksy, how did it go yesterday? Um, a bit quieter on orders yesterday. Europe did well. And we're expecting a good order this morning, which will exceed what we finished on yesterday in Europe. So that'll be really good. Perfect. Uh, and that's from, uh, that's from Jules, right? Laura. Laura. Oh, and the docking stations. Yeah. And he's got the big dog coming from, uh, yeah, from the Spanish. Yeah, that too. You can see that too. From the Spanish customer. Sick. Whoa. So yesterday, Julian had a phone call from a customer. They sampled one of our privacy screens for 1500 and they uh, spoke to Julian yesterday and said the customer really likes it. Nice. 1500 privacy screens. Mm, which would be great. Congratulations, Jack, on this title, head of new business. Yeah, well done, Jack. Amazing, brother. And yeah, Great keep work. it up. Keep smashing the new business, bro. I want to see more in the group. This is crazy. Look, come here. I'll give you this last bit of information. I'm going to check out. I've got some, uh, come get on with the gym. The water here. We had a letter yesterday. She's just staying in the hotel. I had a letter saying, don't use the water. The water has some bacteria in it. And the bacteria. Shiz, you said the bacteria can't live, right? Can't avoid the water. What could they have in the water that would, is there anything so, that would have died? Yeah, so in where you don't want the chloride or the fluoride, whatever it is, boiling it doesn't get rid of that. Yeah. But I don't know how it's different. Bacteria. Yeah, bacteria. Chlorine normally kills okay. most bacteria and viruses, but uh, it's like bleach and it, chlorine is a bleach. But okay. boiling it definitely kills everything. Could it be yeah. anything but bacteria, anything else though? Are they just like nuclear contamination. Like too much fluoride. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if they put too much fluoride in it, and they're like, oh, it's bacteria, mate. But then they wouldn't tell you to boil it. No. When you boil it, it, it makes it worse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe they're just covering themselves. Like we have to send out a letter in case someone just What is anything. that thing that you get? There's a really bad one that you get in old water pipes. You know that one which could kill you? You could drink it, but if you shower with it, or you breathe it in. Really? What's it called? It's really bad. It's life threatening. But you get it in pipes where. How old is it? <laughs> no, it's, it's, you only get oh, um, you only get in stagnant water basically. So One time, it was like drink early hours in the morning. I was swimming back on the lake and I was drinking water out of the lake. Oh. I was young and I was drunk. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, drinking out of the lake. Drink, obviously, don't drink anymore. But that's. I was drinking out of the lake and that Lyme's disease, everyone's like, you're lucky you didn't get Lyme's disease, mate. Oh, no, no, Vile's disease, Vile's disease. Lyme's is from um, 
The uh, so ticks, ticks, yeah, ticks, yeah, yeah. ticks. Yeah. Have you ever had a tick? Nah, have you? Nah, I haven't. I pulled one off a ferret before and had a pet ferret. Really? I pulled Horrible one off a cat and a dog. I've yeah. had a... I think, and Jack, you'll have to fact check this. Maybe Jack can drop it in the episode. At, I think Jack's had one. A tick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe ask Marshall to ask him about his tick. You put it in the same episode, but I'm fairly mm. certain. So, I've been, uh, I've been asked to interview you about this. Yeah, a bit of a weird one. When I was um, I was traveling around Asia in Thailand in 2000. God, I don't even know what it was though. All I know was 1920. What? I was 19. I was 19, oh, I thought you were... 19 or 20. Not in the 1920s. Not like 100 years ago now. 1920s. Uh, I was 19 or 20. And uh, I, was, I, I decided to travel around Thailand on my own for a, yeah, a wee while. And um, I was in Sorry, Chiang Mai and I realised well, that on my leg, it much. looked like, um, on my, yeah, my, my right leg, it looked like I had like a fresh scratch. <laughs> yeah. uh, like, you know, like a, if like a key ever get a scratch from like a, take a it, cat take or it, something like that, or maybe a dog jumped up at you or something. <laughs> It was quite raised, and then and then I saw it do like a U turn. So I was like, "That's weird." So I went to uh, I went to the the doctor in um, Thailand, and he basically said that I had uh, like a worm, like a parasitic worm in my leg that was either contracted via like water or mosquito bite. So that was fun. So he said that we could go on like a course of antibiotics, which would cost lots of money. And my yeah. insurance we at the did, time was very like it was wor- it was a, it was on a. A reimburse, like a rolling contract. Yeah, it was worth a reimbursal thing, so I had to pay for a lot of stuff. And I had actually gone through so yeah, hell out there already. I'd already, already got attacked by dogs well, out there, so um, I'd already spent quite a bit of money. Jesus. And um, so I couldn't afford the antibiotics at the time. So I said, "Let's can we just run its course." And the body is is amazing. The body will expel any foreign elements over time, as long as you just drink water, bottled water. I wasn't gonna get it, go- it wasn't gonna get done again. So I, uh, yeah, I just let it run its course. And I watched this little thing, do some laps around my leg for a minute. Yeah. And then when I was having a shower one day, yeah, like my so- foot was like itchy and I itched the bottom of my foot and the, the thing just came out of the bottom of my foot. Like came out like, and the thing, it was super weird. I hated it, man. That's God, horrifying. I, I, like, para- like things that like live on, like the, like the host, like. Yeah, it was, parasite. I just, I, that is terrifies me so like to have that thing in my leg but once i <laughs> once i'd i'd gotten used to him in my leg and I, we were i felt like our goals were aligned you know my prosperity was 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 his his prosperity so um yeah it felt like we were together in it in it in it to the end and then the end finally happened in the shower so it wasn't a tick it was a worm not a tick i've had ticks but you know that's not a fun story <laughs> yeah, one minute they're there next minute they're gone that's, that's the good. story <laughs> Lyme disease is horrible there's that not really a cure for it. You get stuck with like lifelong conditions of random yeah, symptoms. Yeah. Like people be allergic to meat after getting bit by a tick and they can't eat meat for the rest of their life. Yesterday, no breakfast was one in Europe, though okay. it was a good day. We were like 600 euros off of breakfast. In UK, we were about six grand off of breakfast. So it's a cheap morning for me, but I would have liked to have seen bigger numbers yesterday, but hey, it is what it is. It's raining and we don't want to get wet on the scooters. <laughs> Hopefully today, breakfast both camps. And yeah, it's gonna be a big day. Yesterday we did 190 orders in UK, which is a win. So there are days where we're very slow. Like six months ago, we do 100 orders. So 190 orders is like night and day difference. So it's sick. Even on a quiet day, we're busy. And hopefully we have a very big day. We made money yesterday. It's just, it was neither here nor there. There's a little bit of money. Not enough to pay for breakfast had we won it. So good that we didn't win it. Kelly, mm-hmm. how's your week been? Really busy, actually. Loads of product codes, loads of colour cases from our lovely Rihanna. <laughs> and um, yeah, just adding products that are coming off of other places. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to slot Penny in one of the gaps. And this is for what reason? Like on what? the floor, like one of these, we'll take a box out and we're going to put Penny in there. And then she's going to hide. And then we're going to ask for one of the devices which are on the top. Why are you the milk? How's your week been, Baz? It was great until you showed up. You reckon you found him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> For God's sake! Didn't uh, even jump! <laughs> how's your week been? Yeah, it's been good, mate. Yeah? Busy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. excuse me. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's been busy. My apologies. Dragged yeah, a little been. bit, but we're with the Friday mm. now, so. Grab my stepladder. Not, not you know, too many. I never knew my real ladder, only my stepladder. That's actually kind of funny. Joke of the day. <laughs> what I think he said that about a thousand times already. It's written on a post-it somewhere. How's your week been? Really quick. Ah, uh, good. Nice. Yeah. The week has been slow and steady, calm. Everyone's all good and happy. Workwise, we're cracking on really well with stock take. I'm really impressed with that. Charlie is a beast accounting and I accounting mean, correctly. I wouldn't think he was a numbers man. 
No, he wouldn't, would it? No. But he's really surprised. Well, he did really well last year, but he's absolutely smashing it out. Nice. So we are ahead. Oh, at the brilliant. minute, we're ahead on stock take. Productive week. Volumes have dropped a little bit from, from what they were, but yeah, we've got a lot done. Stock take wise has been going well. There's a lot of little other bits behind the scenes, cost things with our rates, like delivery rates, stuff like that. So give me an opportunity to kind of look, yeah, just analyze a few different things. But yeah, it's been um, overall a good week. Nice to have, like I said, a bit of, bit of a quiet one on the actual order front sometimes just right. to get all the other sort of uh, yeah, ad them. admin tasks. Done. So yeah, it's been a been a productive week. My week has been very um, proactive. What's your and who's your prank? Yeah. Let's play a game. <laughs> Let's play. No. Can you move the darts board, please? But it has been good. I've just um, a had a lot of like stuff in my brain that I've had to translate to paper and then actually do. You know when you just have a list of things? Yeah, like a, a mind board, a yeah, mind map. Yeah, I really oh, had no. to do that. And I actually did a lot of sorting, so I feel a lot more on top of things. And I did a good, some good calls today, sent a catalogue to someone, nice. getting there. What else? I've just lot, lots and lots. Of <laughs> oh. and there's been some other stresses, but say less about this. Like so explosions <laughs> and Charlie. Then what happened? The next part, you know, it says go through your flush and there's nothing there. It's not even me. Dartboard. He bought it. Huh? He bought it from home. It's his dad. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah. it's his dad's dartboard. He's really stupid. Yeah. He's gonna get angry if he can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Help me! Whose dartboard is it? You watching? My dad. <laughs> 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 right, we need to go investigate the marshals. It's not up here. We need to really read it. Really read between the lines. Where you flush. Now go to where... Uh... I'm taking this with me as evidence. Oh. <laughs> evidence. It's here as well. I knew it. Well, you got your dartboard. My dad would be so happy. <laughs> How's your guys' week been? You can do it in rapid fire. POs are getting a little bit better. Quotes. Uh, the, today, to, just today, they slowed down a little bit, but. Yeah, my week's been good. It has been, like Joel said, it's been a bit quieter today, but a little bit quieter yeah. today. But. Oh. What can you oh. do? Do better. Thank Athena, you. how's your week been? I've <laughs> yeah. been out Monday and Tuesday, <laughs> busy days. Monday was in Basingstoke, Tuesday was in Birmingham. What's <laughs> this accent? Don't know. <laughs> but the rest of the week's been alright, just a bit tired from the travelling, but apart from that, all good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Challenging week, doing everything right, sometimes it doesn't go away. I've had, a, I've had a few, not setbacks, but just a few like, okay, so we're going into May now. Yeah, it's been a challenging week, but if it was easy, then everyone would be doing it. This week. Three. Yeah, I need to get them on a quote system. There's uh, but there's been no, but there's been no, no news this week, but that's just the way the, that's the way it goes. Um, you know, we can, we, we have to keep looking forward. You know, we've got the e-shots going out, we've got calls going out, I've done everything I can, everything my side, so that's what we need to do. How's your week been? Um, yeah, it's been alright apart from being ill. Did I say it bad? Nice. Sometimes <laughs> <laughs> in a day, we all need quotes for quality good. But if we are wise, we know to always call on JLC, JLC. When you're in need, they'll be your friend. They'll get your targets hit.